When it comes to making scrambled eggs, there's an overwhelming number of so-called tips and tricks out there on the internet. Some of this breakfast advice comes courtesy of professional chefs. Other tidbits come from amateur kitchen adventurers the world over. Of course, leave it to chef Alton Brown to rise above all the chatter. He wants to teach his loyal fans the best way to serve scrambled eggs. Admit it, you're officially intrigued. In an interview with Food Network, Brown generously shared his all-time favorite tip when it comes to preparing scrambled eggs. To paraphrase, you shouldn't let your eggs cook to completion in the pan. Instead, he strongly recommends taking your eggs off the stove one minute before they're totally done. And make sure to do it right when the egg is finely firm and not runny. Next step, go ahead and place those scrambled eggs on a warm dish. Then stand back and watch the magic happen. I want to make sure that I've got a warm platter Ooh, nice. for our eggs. I yeah. always have to have that. You see, since eggs tend to cook rather quickly and easily, the heat of the plate will ensure they get finished up nicely. By adopting this strategy, you'll ensure your scrambled eggs possess the fabulous fluffy consistency you so desperately crave. The key here is making sure the plate remains heated, because you don't want your eggs to cool down and dry out the minute you flop them out of the pan. Otherwise, you're going to be stuck with a cold, sad scramble by the time you finish making your toast. Well, please don't become that sad, lost soul picking away at their sad scramble on some sad Sunday morning. Life is already hard enough as it is, and you're breaking our hearts. The most crucial step? Make sure to preheat the plate on which you'll be serving your eggy delight. As Brown told Food Network, cold plates suck the heat right out of food. And Brown has a few other suggestions when it comes to satisfactorily maximizing your scramble. For one thing, you should toss the plate in the oven on low. Just make sure the dish is actually oven safe. If not, you can submerge the dish in hot water prior to serving to achieve similar results. In fact, that might be the best route if you're entertaining guests and serving up a fancy weekend brunch. According to the Spruce Eats, there's another option worth bearing in mind. Simply stick the dish in the microwave for a minute or two. Of course, if you happen to eat scrambled eggs on the regular, you might want to plunk down a little extra cash and invest in an electric plate warmer. That's definitely money well spent, because the only thing worse than eating cold scrambled eggs is eating cold scrambled eggs every day. So to sum up, all it takes to elevate your scrambled eggs game is a warm plate. And if you want to turn a good breakfast into a certifiably great one, we recommend following Brown's scrambled eggs recipe to a tea. Beyond his unique serving technique, you'll be interested to know that he's a big fan of adding mayonnaise to your scrambled eggs. Consider your world rocked. As Brown told the kitchen website, adding a teaspoon of mayonnaise and a teaspoon of water gives your scrambled eggs a fantastic texture that you'll absolutely love. Rest assured, all that oil, butter and egginess certainly makes for a hearty and super satisfying meal. And believe it or not, the mayo doesn't overwhelm the flavor of the eggs at all. In his 2016 book, Everyday Cook, Brown writes that, You'll never know the mayo is in there until you go and leave it out. So there you have it. And even if you happen to be a confirmed hater of all things mayonnaise, consider setting aside your issues with the stuff just so you can treat yourself to some truly spectacular scrambled eggs. Come on, take a chance. We guarantee you'll be rewarded with the best damn scrambled eggs you've ever tasted. And you can quote us on that. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite foods are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.